Hi guys, and welcome to Ron's Weight Loss Journey, and I'm Ron. Well, if you're new to my channel, welcome, and if you're a returning member, welcome back. And if you're a new member, could you please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel? It helps other members know that I post the latest video. Well, first of all, I wanted to state that I'm not a medical doctor and I don't make any medical claims. This is all based on my own personal research and my own personal journey. And uh, yeah, so I just want to let you know what's going on. Well, today is July 1st, and it's also the beginning of a new month, and it's also the end of an old month. The old month, we weighed in at 246 pounds. As of this morning, with clothes on, I weighed in at 238 pounds, and I lost eight pounds for the month. Now, when I got done taking a shower, oddly enough, I weighed myself without clothes, and I weighed 236, so I was two pounds less, but I, 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 they called it at 238. So, so eight pounds for this month, I think is pretty uh, uh, damn good. And so what do we do towards the end of this month to uh, get down to the uh, 238? Well, we did a, uh, a uh, five day A fast, and actually we wound up doing a three day A fast and we broke it with carbs for uh, two days. So here's what we did. So we, on Monday, we started the week out at 240.7 pounds. Then on day two, when I weighed myself, I took video and I took a scale and I'm on the photo in both the video. I weighed 239.2 pounds. I had lost 1.5 pounds. And then on the third day, I weighed myself. I was 239.2. I was 237.9. I had lost 1.3 pounds. And then today, day four, I was 238.1 pounds. So between, uh, you know, I lost almost three pounds during the A-fast for three days, and I, and I still think that's pretty good. I mean, I could have done better. I, I, didn't, I didn't want to quite go into five days because I'm kind of really sick of eggs. And you know, Typically, I, we just did an A-fast at the beginning of the new month, and I'll probably do another one at the middle part of July somewhere. But um, and so, so what do we do for uh, meals? We made basically made fried eggs the first day, shaffles, we made keto pancakes, egg bites, we made another egg loaf, and we made waffles. And, uh, we did a lot of walking and some more childhood memories, and uh, I'm a happy camper tonight because it's uh, raining out here in our city today after we had a hard rain last night and a quick torrential downpours and thunderstorm that rolled in to cool down the, uh, get all the heat out of here. And, uh, yeah, and uh, so I, I've been doing a lot of fishing. I've been doing some walking here and there. Now, uh, Derek's walking challenge got a, has a walking challenge that I'm participating in for the month of July. We didn't do too much walking today. We only did two miles of walking today. But um, I'm going to be picking up the pace as long as the weather holds out. And, uh, get, you know, I'm going to try to average three to four miles a day. And we'll, we'll do two miles. We'll, we'll do like uh, two miles in the morning and two miles in the afternoon. And if I feel real ambitious, maybe it's, it's another two miles in the nighttime. And there'll be sometimes I'll try to get all the mileage in all, to, all together in one day, like about a four to six mile walk. I've done that a few times before. We have a lot of doctor's appointments coming up this month, so we got to stay with that. And keep, you know, it's all about helping it and bettering it. And, you know, figuring out what's going on, what's different issues I have going on. But yeah, it's been really good. Um, I'm really ecstatic about losing my weight. So I, I started my journey on August 17, 2020. Most of you know, I was 325 official pounds when I weighed myself. I'm down to 238. So I lost like 87 pounds from my, from my weight loss journey and I'm very pleased and ecstatic about that. Um, I've been a very busy guy. I filmed uh, the concert on Thursday night last week and uh, your video came out awesome. Tonight I was supposed to go film the concert on Thursday and it got canceled due to the, the inclement weather we get coming in. And I was supposed to go film at the uh, mayor show at four o'clock and that got canceled. So I got two thumbs up for the cancellation, so I'm a happy camper. So uh, and now I'm gonna be working on another project. Um, my uncle passed away back in January, my godfather. And um, nobody was able to attend the uh, funeral because of COVID-19 and uh, I'm doing a family memorial for the uh, family with some video and photographs that I had, we had over the years, and I put it all together with special effects and background music, and they adapt. They, it's really quite touching in how I put things together, and if, uh, if you guys need something like that for your family, you let me know, and I'm very reasonable on price. I typically will edit the photos in Photoshop if they need editing. I'll scan the photographs, and I'll scan the negatives if they need to get scanned. 
and I'll put it all together with some background music and I'll present it to the family. And then on the 17th of July this month, which, which is coming around pretty fast, I'll have the video done long before then. But I have some 1960s video, and, uh, there's no sound on it, it's the old uh, millimeter reels that we had. And I uh, s separated about maybe 20 clips of my uncle from, from over the years. And this is gonna be a really, really nice uh, memorial when I get it done. And um, so you have relatives coming up from Washington and uh, Florida and Tennessee, and it's going to be a nice family reunion get together, backslash memorial, and uh, they already got the hall rented, which I'm really happy about. And uh, yeah, so I do that. I do that, and I do that from the bottom of my heart because I enjoy that. But at the same time, it's very, very disturbing to me putting this stuff together for the family because you know he was my uncle and I loved him, and I knew he loved us and loved me. And, uh, you know, and I was always welcome at his house anytime I wanted to go there, and I still am to this day. And, and it just, uh, it, it wrenches my heart every time I see that. But it's very emotional, but, you know, it's all part of the process of um, life and death. And uh, when you die, you don't really die. Your spirit goes on to heaven, and you're with God, and, you know, you know and Jesus, and your family before you, and, uh, and your friends, and, uh, and your animals, too, by the way. And I, you know, and I know that, and I believe in that, and uh, you know, it, 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 all, it all, we will all be reunited one day, and we'll all be in a much better place than we are now. And uh, so we're going to continue on with the walking challenge. Uh, we have the Fourth of July coming up pretty quick. Just be vigilant; things could happen. Pretty, there could be some crazy stuff going on. You're going to hear some crazy things and some not so crazy things, and. I just want everybody to uh, be vigilant about that. Hopefully that won't happen. But uh, yeah, so uh, I'm gonna let you guys go. Remember you guys are amazing. I'm gonna post this video up later tonight and uh, I'll post the uh, video for uh, next uh, segment, which will be Sunday at the end of the week and how we did for my week, uh, or week 46. So be watching for that video. Remember, you guys are amazing. This is Ron. Don't forget to like and share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Love you guys. Remember, you guys are amazing, and I truly mean that.